I hook up another engine M50. Initially, it's supposed to be M52. So I got M50 and I put it in it. Everything worked fine, but the gauge, the gauge is not working. The temperature gauge is not working. If you turn it on, you see, no movement whatsoever. So what happened is when you do swapping on the M52 to M50 you have to work on the temperature switch and how you can convert a temperature sensor from BMW M52 to M50 so as I was saying M52 has one sensor this sensor here but M50 has double sensor one there I don't know if you can see it right there and the other one the black one is right there so to convert this I have to you have to convert this before the temperature I mean the temperature gate start working so I get some sockets here I got two socket to socket on that then I get another female socket I finish joining it as you can see my female socket and the two 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 pin socket so the wire is there black and blue is for one side that's this one go to the cluster and this one yellow and black go to ECU so when you want to join it as you can see the hem 52 carry one sensor one temperature sensor and the hem 50 carry two temperature sensor so what you if you are swapping one and m52 to m50 what you need to do is this socket you have four pin here four pin here which two of this this hop two one is for ecu while the down one is for gauge in close and cluster so how you can know the positive and the negative this side this this here if you take your multimeter put it on homes when you read this and this together it will it will be bridge as in reach normal so is simply telling you this is negative and this is negative why this is positive and this is positive these two go to one sensor and this up to one two pin go to the other sensor just as i did my own just as i did my own yeah as you can see it's four pin here it's pretty simple four pin here and four two go, two goes to one two goes to one one for sense and ecu signal ecu and the other one is for close cluster gauge so just do it like that it will work so after fixing it you can go and verify it easily by just putting the key once you put the key you turn the ignition on you see it's it moved you don't have to even start it just turn it on you see it moved unlike when the wire is not there so that's all i can give you guys if you like my video just subscribe and subscribe and like put your comment down below if you have any question thank you bye